And now Lagos State Governor Babaji Dissongwulu has signed the Lagos State Wealth Fund Bill and the Lagos State Civil Bill which will be sent to the Lagos State House of Assembly to be passed into law. This is even as the state officially launched a 30-year de development plan which will be implemented between 2022 and 2052. Justin Akadoye tells us more in this business story. It is the closing ceremony of the ninth edition of the Lagos Economic Summit, tagged a Betty 2022. The 30 year master plan articulates initiatives that will drive Lagos' ambition to become Africa's model mega city. The day is also auspicious as the governor signs two important bills that enhance the ease of doing business in Lagos and in keeping with the state's mega city plan. Mr. Governor, please could we also have a formal picture taken with the Attorney General, the Commissioner for Economic Planning and Budget? Governor Sonwolo explains that the Lagos Wealth Fund Bill signals the commencement of the state's sub-sovereign green bond that will create sustainable wealth for the government and residents. These will also prevent Lagos revenue from external shock while making the state the technology and investment hub. On the launch of the Lagos State 30-Year Development Plan, the governor says government will continue to pursue policies that are inclusive and equitable to all over the period. In the last two days, what this summit has shown to us is the audacity, which was the words that all the youths that I had the privilege to have led and moderated yesterday, what they all said about Lagos, their explanation and their expectations of Lagos that indeed Lagos is about the audacity of hope. It's about ensuring that each time you fall, you must get up again. There is a 70 trillion naira requirement to deliver on the plan to make Lagos a trillion dollar economy in 30 years. More than 70% of that is expected to come from other sources than the government's pockets. Part of what we talked about were many low-hanging fruits, including establishing an international finance center to help address some of these challenges of attracting investment. But the fact that Lagos con considers its domestic investors extremely important. The funding for, for most of the things that are really important in Nigeria sometimes comes from the local uh, financial sector. For example, the funding of the power sector, and for us, the funding of our rail lines came from the uh, local banks. And so for us, we're looking for investment, but we want investment not just from foreign investment, and uh, not just from, from foreign investors, but also also from local investors. So this discussion was really, you know, talking about that and getting ideas from different stakeholders. It was a, a quite a, a gift to have this kind of panel, right? You had a panel that had an economist, an established economist that could sort of bring the perspective, uh, a pragmatic but also academic perspective. You had financiers uh, who can talk about what the private sector needs as well, whether that's from, you know, the infrastructure side or just general uh, private sector role. You had the civil servants as well, represented uh, by the special advisor on SDG and investments, as well as uh, Honorable Yishao from, from the legislator. Someone who also witnessed the signing of a memorandum of understanding between the state government and Del York Group for Lagos Film City, as well as the MOU between the state government and Siemens Energy for electronics technician trading. Justin Akadone. Plus the news Lagos. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.